you earlier this week, uh, the Miramar Air Show is back on this year. You may recall it was canceled last year because of the government shutdown. Well, KUSI Steve Bosch talked with the base commander about this year's show. We're a military town, and upwards of a half a million people look forward to the annual air show. Now, last year, nobody was more disappointed than Colonel John Farnham, who had to break the news the day before the air show was to open. Just that last-minute government shutdown was too much for us. It was very disappointing, and uh, it was a tough day. So. But Colonel Farnham's frustration was eased because of the close relationship between San Diegans and the military. San Diego itself, as good as they were before uh, to us before the show, they were ten times that afterwards uh, words, uh, with their understanding, uh, knowing how hard we had tried, and uh, I tell you what, really, they really showed their colors, and I, t I really appreciate it. Colonel Farnham will be giving us a much bigger and better air show this October. The theme of this year's show is the Marine Air Ground Task Force. Marines on the ground, support from the air, logistics to support the ground force, and a command element. Those four pieces are what make a Marine Air Ground Task Force, and they apply to every situation that you send the Marine Corps. When you ask for us, you get all of that every time. You'll see Marines coming out of helicopters, and it'll be a uh, uh, basically an exercise in how we uh, do various parts of uh, our mission. And there are several surprises this year. One is a Joint Strike Fighter aircraft, the most advanced airplane in the world. It gives us the ability to go into places where there aren't prepared airfields to fly off ships, so we can take that airplane anywhere in the world is what, what that really means. A very short runway is all it needs, and it can land vertically, like a helicopter. This is the first time the public gets a chance to see this aircraft. And just the capabilities that exist inside that airplane, it's much more than just flying anymore. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the way that airplane can communicate with other organizations on the ground, with, the, with other airplanes, just changes the face of aviation in a lot of ways. In addition, we not only get the Blue Angels, but the Patriots jet team, and from Canada, the Snowbirds. So three top-notch jet teams. I don't think I've ever been to an air show and seen that in my life, and I've been to a lot of air shows. The Patriots team is made up of civilians, retired Angels and Air Force Thunderbirds. And the Snowbirds are as impressive as the Blue Angels. They fly, it's a, it's a jet team, they fly an 11 jet show, uh, which is something different than we've seen uh, here with the Blue Angels, of course, which is six. And it's just a different dynamic. Yeah. More than half a million people will visit this year's air show, and nobody is more excited than Colonel Farnham. When I say, welcome to the base, I mean it. I like to get you all out here, put you on the flight line, and give you a chance to see who it is your Marine Corps is, to meet our uh, Marines and sailors that make up the Marine Corps, and uh, show to you that your trust in us to protect our way of life is not misplaced. The show begins October 4th. Everybody is invited. Steve Bosch, KUSI News.